One way to target a certain area of your image is to use the color range function. Create a new layer, then go to select color range. This will allow you to target various areas of your deep sky object and change them however you would like. In the case of the Andromeda Galaxy, maybe your core is blowing out details in the rest of your image. Or maybe you would like to enhance the outer layers of the galaxy and bring more of those dust lanes into view. Or if you were to have an image of a nebula, maybe you would like to bring out a tiny detail in the nebula, or enhance the color, or enhance a certain area of the image. In order to do this, make sure the localized color clusters box is checked. If it is unchecked, the changes will be applied to the entire image rather than the area that you are trying to work on. Keep the range at 100% to encircle the entire area that you would like to work on. Fuzziness shows how much or how little of that area is chosen. I often keep the fuzziness rather low in order to not grab the background stars as well. You can apply any changes to these selected areas, such as brightness, contrast, color, or bringing out details. When you have chosen the area that you want to work with, click OK. Next, go into Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and choose the enhancement that you wish to use. There are a variety of choices, and each one will affect only that certain selected area. If you would like to make another change to the same target, create a new layer, then go to Select, Color Range, and choose a different area. Then once again go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and choose which enhancement you would like to make. Create a new layer and choose a new color range for every area that you wish to color in your image. If you would like, when you are finished making all of your changes, you may select all of your layers and flatten the image to give you a single background image.